Hey Collective, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading specifically for singles. That means people that are not in commitments or relationships at this time. Maybe you're connecting to somebody, maybe you have your eye on a person, but this is for those of you that are not in a official relationship, okay? Uh, we're going to look at love though. We're going to look at um, the potential for connections, but we're also going to look for themes about individualism. Um, so basically just you yourself and you, right? Like sometimes um, singles readings can have that element of, well, this is what your life would be like if you had a relationship, but I really wanna emphasize on what if it's just you, right? Um, the fact that that's a possibility and that's okay and we're not all looking for relationships. So we're gonna start out with getting a card from the Romance Oracles um, and see what that is going to start us out with. All right, so we have express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. And, you know, it's interesting because as a reading for singles, I feel like this is pretty accurate because if it was for relationships, why would somebody need to um, express their love, right? You would think it's already been expressed. So maybe some of you are needing to do that in order to really get to the next level with a person here that you are connected to. Um, and right behind that or at the bottom of the deck is flirt. So maybe some of you are thinking about really going out of your comfort zone in order to connect to somebody more intimately and that requires something like flirting, right? But I definitely like express your love because I feel like maybe that's something that you have wanted to do for a long time, but you're not sure, um, right? Maybe you're still learning about this person's love language. And so if you want to express your love, you have to make sure it aligns with their expression of love. So let's see what we get for those of you um, that are single and trying to connect to a person here. And just keep in mind, this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate completely. We have the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So some of you could be next connecting to someone or getting to know them through work, uh, maybe in your workplace, maybe somewhere that you and this person frequent together often, right? It's kind of like wherever you get work done, maybe working out, right? Maybe the gym. Um, it feels like a common place is really um, where you and this person seem to connect the most. And maybe that is also has been a hindrance or a barrier in the past. Maybe you're in a place where you don't feel comfortable expressing your love, right? Because maybe you're out in the open. Maybe you're surrounded by other people. You don't want it to be this big spectacle. You don't want an audience. And so maybe you're trying to figure out how to get this person, um, how to get their attention outside of this common place. However, we have the Empress, the Knight of Wands, and the Two of Cups. So I feel like there's potential here. I feel like um, this energy screams potential. However, it does seem like someone needs to take some sort of action here. Because I feel like whoever you're connecting to, they may be like in a different world. So it's kind of like if you don't let them know how you feel, they may not be aware that you even feel something for them in that way. Because I feel like you have a really good friendship or connection to this person in general. But I feel like right now they just may be doing their own thing. I feel like the Empress energy is kind of giving off someone that is independent someone that doesn't really look for validation outside of themselves. And so if you're not making it obvious or saying something directly to them, they're not going to pick up on your signals um, simply because you're giving them attention, if that makes sense. So this Knight of Wands, it's kind of like you have to do something a little bit extra in order to really get this person to understand that you feel this way about them. Because that Two of Cups is really kind of emphasizing that romantic love. However, again, it's kind of like you may be, you know, connecting to this person in a place where maybe you have to talk to them because of work or it's like you normally have to engage with them. So they're not going to pick up any of that out of context uh, because it's something you normally do. So um, let's see what else we get here for this situation. All right, we have the Page of Wands. Uh, maybe some of you are connecting to somebody that is of a different age as well. Uh, maybe it's someone that is younger or older. Um, I don't feel like that is a very big challenge or something that is that um, difficult to kind of navigate. It just feels like maybe that's part of why it's also hard to express your love because maybe the two of you are 
from different backgrounds or maybe you have a lot of um, differences that do kind of interfere um, with them seeing you in that way. So we have the two of wands, the king of wands, and the emperor. So um, Aries energy here, but just fire in general, just passion um, with that two of wands as well. It feels like the future um, is better with this person in mind. So for some reason, I feel like you could be connecting to somebody who maybe is very ambitious and maybe that's something that you like about this person. Maybe again, you work with them or like you see how they are in this particular environment and you wonder what would it be like to see them outside of this, right? What would it be like to see them really passionate about something? And so I feel like you may be envisioning um, or planning for a future with this person in terms of um, an in invitation of some sort. Like maybe you're planning for a date or you're planning to hang out with this person in the future. And so you're trying to think, um, you know, what would that be like? All right, let's clarify the, let's clarify the Empress. This deck is so much harder. To deal with okay so we have the six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so um i feel like there could be um also something about your past that could be coming through um as well here um i feel like there's something that you are holding back from or maybe there's a reason why you haven't felt comfortable expressing your love to this person um i just feel like it has something to do with the past we have the six of cups the High Priestess, which is Pisces, and the Devil, which is Capricorn. So feels like something that um, maybe has affected you before could be coming up again when you think about this person. Um, I feel like the High Priestess is saying just go with your intuition. Sometimes we rely too much on what we've done before. And I feel like the universe is wanting you to have a different approach when it comes to this person. Um, maybe like there's a reason why um, something in the past didn't work out. I don't know. It feels like the universe doesn't want you to do something the same way. Because I feel like whoever you're connecting to could be very different than maybe the type of person you normally connect to. And so it's kind of like get rid of the old ways of doing things. Don't rely on um, don't rely on, on that. I keep thinking of the quote, um, we can't expect different results from doing the same thing or insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results, something like that. It feels like in love, this could be relevant here where it's kind of like something that you've done before didn't work out. Don't do that again, right? Like, I, I don't know how to say it in a way that doesn't seem like I'm saying it to you directly because it's not like that. It's more like um, there's just something different here. I can't quite put my finger on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and clarify that devil energy. I just feel like there's something different about the person that you're connecting to, which is why other things wouldn't work the same way that they worked in the past. I just don't know how else to say it. Um, so we have the hermit at the bottom of the deck, which is Virgo energy. Maybe some of you need to really get to know this person uh, better before you make some sort of attempt. Because, um, yeah, the universe is saying express your love, but then I also feel like maybe there's still some things we need to know before we take that chance. Um, so you're in no way being rushed, right? I feel like the universe is wanting to kind of emphasize you, you're going to do this, but it doesn't have to be right now. It's just keep that in the back of your mind. How are you going to express your love? How are you going to um, try to get this person to see yourself or to see you in a different way? Uh, but I feel like we still need more information about them. We still need to have a better understanding of who exactly we're trying to connect to. So we have the Death, which is Scorpio, Queen of Pentacles, and Justice, which is Libra. So again, it feels like the Death is representing maybe the fact that there are a lot of things that are different about you as well. And so you have to kind of think about this with the person that you are now, not the person that you were before. So maybe how you connect to this person um, has to be aligned with your, you know, kind of new perspective. Um, and that could be a little bit tricky because sometimes we will change but we won't recognize that we've changed when it comes to how we approach people in relationships and then we kind of have to backtrack um and re-strategize so it's kind of like 
I guess the best way I could explain it is maybe the way that you would talk to someone when you're a teenager is not the same way you're going to talk to someone when you're an adult. So let's say when you were, you know, 20, you could do something and it kind of worked out. Now that you're, I don't know, let's say 26 or 30 or 35, right? It's like, it's going to sound or be different, even though it worked in the past just because you have changed. All right, that's a long explanation. So we have the justice, the death, and the queen of pentacles. I feel like there is a mature energy here coming through kind of like someone um that has maybe an interesting background like maybe you're dealing with somebody with um maybe some legal uh background like maybe they work in law or maybe somebody that has um, a moral upstanding or maybe, like maybe they work in something that is for you know other people or for higher for the better community. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but I feel like you're just connecting to somebody here who is, is going to challenge you in a way, I think. Um, okay, let's see what else we get here. Um, let's clarify the... Let's clarify the Two of Cups. All right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So um, it feels like the way that this relationship or that this potential relationship could work out is if there is um, a serious commitment to yourself first. Like for some reason, I feel like what's blocking this energy right now is that need to heal first. Um, like maybe you are... Um, needing to find something within yourself before you can approach this person because um, you're not, let, let's see, maybe you don't feel fully like yourself yet or maybe you don't feel fully complete within yourself just yet. And so there's kind of like this huge transformation that you're going through at this time. And so as someone that is wanting a commitment or wanting a relationship, I feel like right now the universe is kind of like, that's good, but it'll be better if you heal the relationship with yourself first. So maybe expressing your love um, is about express, expressing the love to yourself first and then being able to reflect that um, to another person once you feel content with your self-love journey. So this is taking many turns. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. So I think that this is kind of alluding to the cycle. The fact that we start with us and then we kind of, you know, that'll turn into other areas of our life. I feel like you are on your journey and it's going to keep getting better. It's going to improve. And so maybe right now you don't feel fully comfortable expressing yourself, but eventually you will because you're going to know yourself better as a whole. So we also have the Three of Swords, the Tower, and the Knight of Swords, which clearly kind of says when you heal, when you recover, when you are able to maybe fill that void, there's a huge tower moment that happens within you and that's that internal transformation. Once that's complete, then you're able to really take charge um, and kind of find that voice within yourself and then you're able to express yourself. Um, and maybe this is something you've already been through before where you go through some sort of heartbreak or you go through some sort of breakup, you have some time to really heal um, and find yourself again. And then once you're ready to go back out there, you feel so much more confident in yourself. It's like you're really regrowing or remaking a name for yourself after a period of losing yourself to love. I don't know how else to explain it, but I just really um, feel like the universe is wanting you to express your love to you first. And then when you do it for someone else, it'll be that much easier because who you're connecting to or who you might be connecting to in the future I feel like they're gonna they're gonna want to see that from you it feels like you're connecting to somebody who is mature who has kind of been through similar things and so they're gonna want to see you put that emphasis on you first before you go to them because they could potentially recognize where there is still some healing needing to do right they, they could have that sense um, or that ability to kind of see through you. And so, that, but, the, but I also feel like that's how you're going to know it's the right person when they can see whether or not you've done that extra bit of healing um, and inner work. So 
really, really interesting, kind of all over the place, maybe even a little uh, crazy sounding, but hopefully you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.